And Hot Topics isn't just concerned with the little stuff like nation states reinforcing their borders. No, no, no. They talk about the big stuff too. Garbage truck drivers want to be able to empty bins in the middle of the night. Mm. They say it's difficult collecting garbage in morning peak hour traffic. There's debate over whether popular Disney character Elsa, Queen Elsa from Frozen, should be gay. Whoa! <laughs> that is a hot topic. <laughs> Well, yesterday, Sunrise's Hot Topic decided to try their hand at a topic so hot, it almost flash-fried the cash cow. Should white families be allowed to adopt at-risk Aboriginal children? Oh, of course, it's a no-brainer as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, it's a no-brainer, and Prue McSween would know she's the best no-brainer in the business. <laughs> Thankfully, Prue kept talking to say more lovely things. Good on you, David Gillespie, and, and please don't worry about the people who decry and hand ring and say that this will be another stolen generation. Just like the first stolen generation where a lot of children were taken because it was for their well-being, we need to do it again. This Sunrise Hot Topic has certainly caused a lot of controversy. And if you ask me, it's a tonightly spicy meatball. <laughs> it's a spicy meatball. To discuss it, we're joined by commentator Nakia Louie in Sydney and Enoch Mailangi in Brisbane. Good evening to you both. Nakia, obviously it's heartbreaking to see people like Prue McSween and Ben Davis saying stupid shit on breakfast television. <laughs> They're clearly distressed. They're probably in danger. In the interest of their own welfare, should they be removed from that environment? Of course. It's a no-brainer as far as I'm concerned. Yep. <laughs> I mean, we can't see another generation of unqualified, clueless, white media pundits being left to just talk out their asses about complicated, deeply complicated issues on national television. Mm. It's dangerous and it's crazy to me that people are arguing against this. Aren't you concerned about repeating the mistakes of the past? Well, other people have been removed from Sunrise for their own well-being, like <laughs> Melissa Doyle and Grant Denyer. Grant Denyer, yeah, that's yeah, right. They're being looked after now. Yep. Maybe we need to do that again. Mm. Enoch, what's the balance here? Oh, Tom, look, I agree with Nakia here. This is just cruel and it has to stop. You see the conditions they put these panellists oh, through? Awful. Awful. They have to be up at 4am, yep. pu putting paint on their faces and yep. appearing on television because it's part of their culture. Yeah, no, it's it's got to change. It's got to change. You're quite right. Let's hope some sense prevails there. Just while I've got you, let's run through some other spicy meatballs. Nakia, the Israel-Palestine conflict, how do we fix it? <laughs> what conflict? OK. And uh, Enoch, can you just say something ridiculous to generate some outrage? All white people are evil and racist. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, should our rubbish bins be collected in the middle of the night? Whoa, oh. whoa, whoa, whoa. Not Tom, cool, no, man. I'm not qualified to talk about that. No, like, no. No. There are some things that are too important to discuss on breakfast television, okay, mate. Fair enough. Well, I haven't learned anything, but we have filled some time and we're closer to death. Have a good night. Here's Koshi. <laughs>